So now we're going to look at what happens when we turn on reasoning in our ontology. We're just going to use the default hermit reasoner. And let's have a look at the inferred relations that that gives us on our ontology. So if we look at the individuals that we had before, starting with the two subjects, recall that we made no property assertions about these at all. With reasoning, we can see that it's inferred that this subject is the source of three fast QGZs and also the library. That's the precursor to them. Subject two is inferred to be the source of four of these fast QGZs. The fifth one is because I made an error in uh, the assertion here in that I stated that it had a direct output of a library. You can see the object property assertions in the pop-up window there say that it has a direct output of a library and a direct input of a fast QGZ, which is in fact the wrong way around. If we look at one of the libraries themselves, they have a whole stack of inferred relations. They're the source of all their downstream fast QGZ, so the direct inputs to the lane level processes, they are the inputs to the run, and they're also the inputs to the lane level processes. The sequencing run here that we asserted was associated with all the lane level processes is also inferred to be having the output of all the fast QGZs and having the input of the two libraries. None of these things we actually asserted directly and these are all relations that are inferred by the reasoner. So unfortunately the graph doesn't automatically update with all the inferred relations but if you were to regenerate this graph with all the inferred relations this would become a lot richer. There'd be multiple dashed lines connecting all the individuals here.